day in Dublin tomorrow, so you'll be following where the ferries are going. Uh, it takes the ferry just over three hours, <laughs> about three and a quarter hours, to get from Hollyhead to Dublin. Uh, and they do that twice a day. And there's another one, Irish Ferries, which is a green and white shamrock on their, uh, on their um, sorry, just waiting at the other guy, two of my friends here. There we go. Uh, and so lots of tours going out from your ship today, about 19 or something. So a lot of tours, very busy. Uh, but as you can see, uh, we're in a very, very busy working ship is dubbed today. You can see all of the containers here on our left. Uh, again, we have a lot of ferry traffic, uh, or container traffic on the ferries, uh, that comes from uh, all over the world. Via Southern Ireland, from Dublin over to here, the UK, which is no longer part of Europe. As you may have heard a few years ago, we left the EU, uh, so we're now not a European country anymore. Although when it comes that's politically, uh, so um, the, uh, when it comes to other things, uh, we are very much still in a camaraderie situation with the other countries of Europe. Uh, I don't think that will ever change, uh, particularly because we're all part of NATO as well. Uh, and that becomes important when we have things going on like the Ukraine and Russia at the moment. Ukraine is applying to be part of NATO. It wants to have uh, NATO countries looking after it because of what's going on with Russia at the moment. But we won't get too heavily into politics at all. I can tell you anything you'd like to know about Welsh and UK politics. Uh, any questions that you have during the day uh, that you'd like me to cover, uh, that you have a special interest in perhaps, uh, I will be covering quite a right, wide number of subjects as we go through the tour today. Uh, but um, let's just tell you a little bit about where we are. Once we leave this port, we're all part at the moment of, uh, you can see the town of Hollyhead over on your right hand side there. And you'll see a little square tower of a church coming up on your right hand side. So um, if you want to, uh, as we go into the mountain, there it is. Uh, that is the tower of the church of St. Kevin. is known in Welsh as Kaya Gibi. Kaya Gibi. Kaya C A E. Fortress. A fortress. Uh, I'll tell you later on this afternoon. That's a funny uh, And so uh, Kaya Gibi, uh, Kibi, changes Those to G. Those phones go up and Kaya it's Gibi. It's a Welsh oh. thing. It has, has to be told, of course. We have changed the letters in Welsh, but we do. Uh, and so Kaya Gibi is the Welsh name for Hollyhead. Uh, and it's named after St. Kebby. He was one of these guys 1,400 years ago. 1,400 years ago, we were settled to do, uh, to set up a little uh, religious cell, if you like. All over Wales, all over the UK as well. Now to the port now, we're coming uh, to the exit of the port. And up on the left hand side there, on the hill, uh, then you'll see a little obelisk up there. That is to uh, Captain John McGregor Skinner. Captain John McGregor Skinner. He was actually born in the USA, in, in the uh, state of New Jersey. And he fought for the British uh, during the time of the um, independence, the War of Independence, uh, when you decided you did. Um, here in Hollywood, coming from across the Atlantic. Uh, but he was a great financier. He put a lot of money into 